children namaste welcome to story time we are here today to read out a really fun story called clumsy crab let's get going look at this beautiful picture what can you see on this page i spy a clumsy crab and we are going to learn about him and look i can even see an octopus tentacle and two silly fish let's get started nippar the crab hated his huge clumsy claws snip snap clip clap no matter how hard he tried they always got in the way none of his friends had clumsy claws he wished he had tickly tentacles like octopus and jellyfish or flippity fins like turtle and the fish one day nippo was playing catch the bubble with his friends can you see the big bubble here his clumsy claws burst the bubble they couldn't play that game any more so they decided to play tag instead nipper scuttled off sideways but one of his clumsy claws got in the way whoa 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 Nipper slipped and stumbled, tripped and tumbled until until he was buried up to his eyes in sand. His friend Turtle helped him by digging him out. So everyone decided to play hide and seek. Nipper climbed into a big clam shell and. Pull it shut. It was the perfect hiding place until smash! Nippers, clumsy claws shattered the shell into hundreds of tiny pieces. Ouch! He cried. Help! Help! Jellyfish helped him by picking up the pieces of shell. Nipper was feeling very sad. He said, "If I didn't have these clumsy claws, I wouldn't break everything, and I would be good at hide and seek." Said Nipper. "Don't worry, Nipper," said his friends. "We will hide, and you can find us." Nipper counted to ten and and then set off to find his friends. His friends were hiding. He scuttled through the sand to find his friends. And who do you think he's gonna find underneath the sand? Who it's gonna be? Is it turtle? Yes, correct. Definitely, he found turtle. And then he shuffled under the shells. And who is gonna be find next? is jellyfish absolutely he found jellyfish nipper was searching for octopus he searched up and down in and out all round the rocks but he couldn't find octopus anywhere can any one of you tell me where octopus is hiding let's find out octopus he got stuck in the seaweed while playing hide and seek and then nipper's claws he moved quickly slashing and slicing shredding and dicing until the sea was filled with tiny pieces of swirling seaweed 
Nipper's claws were so helpful. They helped cut out the seaweed. So Octopus was finally free. The, Thank you, Nipper, said Octopus. You are a clever crab, he cheered. Nipper waved his claws happily. At last, he knew how useful they could be. That was so sweet for him to help his friend. Now let's see what happens next. This is exciting. They are having a party. How wonderful. Look at them dancing and celebrating. The end. I hope you all enjoyed the silly story and then you realize sometimes you might feel like a clumsy crab but you are a big help to all of your friends and family. Did you all like the story about the clumsy crab? Now get ready to Put on your thinking caps. I am going to ask you some questions about the crabby story we just read together. Who is Nipper? That's correct. Nipper is a crab. Who are his friends? Octopus, jellyfish, turtle and fish. What do octopus and jellyfish have? Correct. They have tentacles. What does Nipper have? Nipper has claws. Clumsy claws. So we learnt about his clumsy claws and how he found out to he use his clumsy claws. Do you know how crabs move around? Do crabs have legs or fins? Yes. So, they have legs. They have ten legs. Two of them are claws. So, they use their legs to move around. They usually swirl around sideways. They can walk forward and backward just like you and me. They walk around sideways all over the beach and in the seashore. Do you know they are even related to other animals like lobsters and even spiders. Did you all have fun learning about crabs? Hope you all enjoyed. Thank you. Namaste.